Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel, which is called Mathematics, channel with really interesting, quick and relaxing question. And in this video we have this question, we have 6 plus 6 divided by 6 and times 6 plus 6 in parentheses. So it's like a challenge for us, we have all the time this 6, we have addition, division, multiplication, we have parentheses. So as you can see, everyone learned this stuff in the third grade or second grade, everyone know about these operations right here. But what is the correct answer? It is our question for today, we have our question and right here here we have on the left hand side on the bottom we have a lot of options so right now i suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself what do you think what is the correct answer 12 24 6 or 18 doesn't matter whatever you have whatever your age you graduated or you learn at school let's write your thoughts in the comment what do you think is the correct answer and we will check your answers in the end of the video it is really great and really interesting for us so let's try to solve it so we have six plus 6 divided by 6 and times 6 plus 6 in parents. So it's like a challenge, we have all the time 6. But here is our main question, what we need to start with? We have addition, division, multiplication. So what we need to start with? We need to add at first from left to right, we need to divide at first, we need to multiply at first, maybe we need to solve this question, uh, solve this expression in parentheses. So a lot of discussion about it. And one part of students, for example, add at first from left to right, then divide then, for example, multiply, then parentheses. Another part of students think, okay, let's try to divide at first, then multiply, then add, then parentheses. And a lot of combination, as you can see with these four elements, we can get a lot of combination. But in mass, we need to know what is one and only one correct answer, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, yeah? We cannot get this, we cannot write that the uh, solution to this question is, for example, option A and option B, two options. This is like very weird solution. We can, we need to solve it one and only one and uh, only one correct approach. Okay, and for this question, let's look, for example, at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC. And this is like our order of operation. It's not like a chaotic order right here. So we combine these, these elements from left to right right here. Every order of operation is completely different. We have one order of operation and let's solve this question according to PMDMC. But I respect, for example, Bodmas, I respect this order of operation. And this is up to you because every country have their own order of operation. And I respect it. This is up to you. How can you solve it? But I solve it according to PMDMC because this is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Okay, here's our question. So we, let's go, let's try to solve it. So we have six, six plus six divided by six and six plus six in parentheses. Six plus six in parentheses. Okay, let's look at it. So the first step according to PMDMC, is uh, parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have these parentheses? Here we have these parentheses on the right hand side. So we need to start from these parentheses, which is which is really great because our first step is parentheses, no addition, no division, no multiplication, but parentheses. So we have six right here plus six divided by six and times six plus six equal to equal to 12. So this is our first step and we complete this step. We add this six plus six. Let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC exponent and I would say that I don't see any exponent, any powers right here. We don't have any cubes, squares. So we just, we just skip this part. Okay, multiplication and division part. And this is very interesting moment because one part of students think that we need to multiply it first. Another part of students think that we need to divide it first, but let's solve it according to PMDMC correctly. We need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. Addition right here. Yeah, we have division, we need this sign and we have multiplication. So our next step after parentheses is to solve this division and multiplication part. We have multiplication part, we have we have division part, but what we need to start with? We need, we need to multiply it first, then divide or divide it first, then multiply. All over the world people discuss about it and I don't want to tell that this is absolutely correct solution to multiply it first or to divide it first. This is up to you, this is up to your order of operation. But according to PMDMC, we need to look what is the first sign from left to right. Okay, we have division multiplication, doesn't matter, multiplication division. Just look at this, what is the first sign from left to right? Right here we have, the first sign is division, yeah, so we need to divide at first, we have 6 plus 6 divided by 6 equal to, equal to 1, 
and times 12. We still have this multiplication. We need to do it before addition and subtraction because as you can see, addition and subtraction is our last step. We don't have subtraction, but we have we have addition. So multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction all the time. Doesn't matter what order of operation you select, you need to you need to multiply or divide and then add and subtract. So we have this multiplication and we have 6 plus 1 times 12 equal to 12, uh, which is equal to 18. Yeah, so our correct answer is 18. This is option D. Uh, this is solution is according to PMDMC. I want to say this is according to PMDMC, but if you don't trust me, you can easily check this answer in the, like scientific or graphing calculator, but don't check it into your like telephone because the telephone solves this question as you type it in from left to right, which is absolutely wrong. Just plug it into your like scientific calculator and you will have this option 18. But I respect every order of operation. For example, the board mass, I respect this is up to you. You know it, you solve it, and this is up to you. How can you solve it? My solution is 18. And I hope your answer is the same as mine, but write your thoughts about it. What do you think about this question? It will be really interesting to read about it. And I wish all the best in your adventures. Don't feel bad if you get this wrong, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.